Well, hello, my friends, and happy Friday. You've probably said this many times and heard it many times, but I'm sorry. Well, the question is, are you really sorry? And what are you sorry for? You know, the um, Russian language, I like it when it comes to this particular phrase. They have two phrases. One is itzimeniti, which means I'm sorry that I stepped on your toe, per, for example. The other is oichen jol, which it's a pity. In other words, if you're sick, oichen jol. You didn't cause their sickness, so you say it's a pity that you're sick. You know, in English, we have a little trouble with that because we say I'm sorry for both of them. And sometimes I've heard people say, well, why are you sorry? You didn't do anything about it. Well, there again, we have two, uh, the Russians have two phrases. It's a pity or I'm sorry. So when we use that phrase, I'm sorry, the question is, is how are we using it? And not only how are we using it, are we using it for it's a pity or uh, you are sorry that you did something wrong. If you use it for you're sorry you did something wrong, are you really sorry? I've heard on occasions People, especially in the political world and in the uh, the entertainment world, they will do something that offends someone else. And then they say, I'm sorry. Well, are they really sorry? I know a number of years ago or several years ago, there was some Hollywood star that was making fun of our former president and had a, a bloody mask that they had uh, that they held up and and they got a lot of flack from that and then they went back and said I'm sorry well are they really sorry we have people in the courts that stand before the judge and they say I'm sorry they may be sorry they got caught but are they really sorry from the heart you know um, in 2nd Corinthians chapter number 7 verse number 8 for godly grief and some translations say sorrow produces a repentance that leads to salvation without regret Whereas worldly grief produces death. So in other words, if you're really, really sorry, when you, especially in this, when we look at the spiritual world, now I believe Paul's talking here. When you look at the spiritual world and you say, I'm sorry to, to God, okay? We're thinking spiritually to God now. I'm sorry. Are you really sorry from your heart? A real sorry produces repentance and repentance is a, a turn. <laughs> it's a turnaround from what you've been doing. But a, sorry that's just to try to get by or try to appease the one that you're saying I'm sorry to, in this case, God, it, it's going to lead to death. So my encouragement to you today, not only with people, well, first of all, with people, I would say, because we oftentimes are dealing with people every day and, and so on. But, but when you're dealing with people, you need to have a true repentance when you do something wrong with them or towards them. You need to have a true repentance. When you're dealing with God, you also have to have a true repentance. Every morning you need to, or every evening, whenever your prayer time, you need to pray, Lord, forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So we must do that. So I encourage you today, when you say I'm sorry, mean it from your heart. God bless you. Bye-bye.